Hello again. I have an update to the video on which companion is best for each doctor in the Doctor Who set. We had a secret lair release that just shipped to everyone who got it back when they were on sale. I just got mine in the mail. And it comes with two new doctor cards and one new companion. I want to talk about each of these and discuss which companions are best for these new doctors and if the new companion would be a better pick for any of the previous doctors. I'd also like to point out a couple of synergies I missed in the last video that you should definitely consider in making your new decks. Be sure to watch that first video before this one, by the way. I'll be calling out some of the decisions I made in that one, but I think for the most part, except for some points I'll talk about later, my opinions still hold on those, and I think there are a lot of fun deck ideas in that video. A reminder of the ground rules, first, any colors go, which means even if there is a color already in the color identity of the Doctor, we're still considering all of the options for colors. This is especially important with the 14th Doctor discussion, I mean, it already has four colors. Second, I'm going to be trying to pick a best overall companion and list a couple of others that also go well with it. This is to pick a companion that will work well with what the Doctor is intending to do. Third, I try not to use Clara Oswald as the answer as long as there's something better. You don't have to worry with these commanders though, I don't think Clara is a good fit for either of them. With that, let's go! First, let's discuss the 14th Doctor. He's our first four color Doctor, out of all of them, all colors except black, and one of only a handful of four color commanders that we have in Magic in general. He lets you dig through the top 14 cards of your deck, put any Doctors that you find in there into the graveyard, and then put the rest on the bottom of your library. Then he comes in as a copy of one of those doctors and gets haste. This doctor was clearly designed as a flavorful leader of a doctor typal deck. Every doctor fits in his colors, and there are many ways that synergize particularly well with attacking with these doctors. This doctor, like the 14th doctor in the show, comes back as a familiar face, comes in swinging, and then moves on. Which doctors would work the best as support for this commander? Maybe that's the subject for a dedicated deck tech. But who do we want to have as the companion here? We have a lot of options here. We need a companion that either cares about the graveyard, cares about having a lot of doctor cards in the deck, or supports the plan of swinging with the doctor. I'd say this commander cares most about building around the synergies with the other doctor spells, and for that reason, I'm picking the new Rose Noble as the companion. I guess it's fitting that this card came in the same secret lair as the 14th Doctor. As we've seen in the past, sometimes the face commanders were best paired with their intended companion instead of something else. And I think that's exactly what was designed here. Rose Noble is going to reward you every time you cast a Doctor spell or a spell with Doctor's companion. Casting your commander will benefit you here, but you can make the deck even more flavorful by adding a bunch of companions to the deck and getting the benefit off them as well. An efficient draw engine that synergizes well with the type of creature that you're already planning on putting into the deck is always a great bet for any typal deck, and I feel like this is no exception. Other potential companions I considered were K9 Mark I, who would help protect your commander and making it unblockable. Joe Grant to help fill up your graveyard with desirable doctors, Tegan Yovanka who can make your commander indestructible when it attacks, or possibly Vizsler Turlo who would be the optimal option if you wanted to go a full 5 color deck, but I actually don't think it's necessary to do so unless you have a really good reason. 4 color should have enough resources to answer basically everything you might care about, and the only reason I can think of to go 5 color is if you wanted to lean more heavily onto the graveyard and reanimation strategy that the doctor would help support because it's filling your graveyard with a whole bunch of stuff. Let's move on to our other new doctor, the 15th doctor, who mills 3 when he enters the battlefield or attacks, then returns an artifact with mana value 2 or 3 from the graveyard. Then he makes your first non-artifact spell you cast each turn have Improvise, meaning you can pay the generic costs by tapping artifacts you control. The 15th Doctor wants you to play a whole bunch of small artifacts and then make your big impact with other spells that your artifacts will help you cast. I'm envisioning that making a lot of artifact tokens would help you build this up, or you could play into the 2-3 to three mana value artifact synergy that he has printed on him. Really, I feel like the important thing is leaning into the Improvise ability as much as you can. So, 
However you get your artifacts, that's your goal, is to use the improvisability. Since I feel like the strongest strategy here is making artifact tokens, I'm going to pick Sarah Jane Smith as my top companion for the 15th Doctor. Look, most likely you're going to be casting a bunch of artifacts. Those are historic spells, that's going to trigger Sarah Jane Smith. The first time you do so each turn, you'll get a clue, which can act as a mana rock for the Doctor's improvisabilities. Plus, adding white, I feel, is a strong strategy due to the fact that his ability says each turn you may improvise. Which means you could build this deck with powerful control spells that are usually a bit too expensive to play normally in a control build. Sarah enables this the best, and I think a Jeskai 15th Doctor is what I want to see the most. It's just a shame that we didn't get a Ruby Sunday card, I'm sure that would have been the best fit for him. I also considered Romana 2, which is the third time she's been considered but not chosen. I'm gonna talk a bit about this later. Romana 2 would be great if you heavily leaned into the token strategy and could make a bunch of extra tokens. I docked her a point though because the token comes in tapped, which means it won't be helpful for the improvisation unless you've gone a turn cycle, and ultimately if you want to build that control build, that's going to slow you down quite a lot. The other option I thought about was Dan Lewis, who seems like a pretty good way to pump up your commander using all of those artifacts you're either regrowing from your graveyard or making from token generators. This would be a good pick if you didn't want to go the control route because now you're going teamer and you kind of have to build the deck a different way. Alright, with the doctors out of the way, let's talk about Rose Noble, our new companion. I've already pitched her as the best companion for 14th Doctor, and I believe I'll stand by that, but does Rose contribute well to being any other doctor's companion? The answer, unfortunately, I think is no. See, the most common color among all of the doctor cards is blue. And even though two other doctors don't have blue and you could add blue to them to make a three color pairing, you're not going to get enough support amongst these cards to make a strong doctor and doctor's companion type deck. If you want to repeatedly cast your commander, that's certainly an option to consider, but I think the payoff isn't as good as some other companions if you want to do that. Let's look briefly at the possibility of a Doctor Typal deck with the different three color possibilities. The War Doctor would make Jeskai, which makes 30 main deck cards that fit the color and type, which is pretty good for a Typal deck. 30 is usually what you want to aim for. But the War Doctor has a very different focus. It wants you to attack and burn your opponents, and it wants to use time counters as much as possible. Rose doesn't really support that plan at all. Then, the Fugitive Doctor is a similar story. It wants to make clues and flashback instant and sorceries. So even though there are 25 main deck cards that would fit there, which is almost good enough to be a normal typal deck, I don't think there's enough room in the rest of the deck to have the synergy you need to make a cohesive Fugitive Doctor deck. Rose Snowball is the best option for Doctor typal decks, but there's only one Doctor that works with the Doctor typal and that's the 14th Doctor, and I think that's the bottom line here. It may have been more serviceable if it were white or green or red, but its ability clearly doesn't fit with those colors, so I think my conclusion here is that Rose Noble really only belongs to a single one of our 17 Doctors, and isn't really even a recommendation for anyone else. Alright, now that we've talked about those, let's go through some corrections. I just wanted to address some comments that we had on the last video with some great suggestions for doctor and companion combinations that I didn't address in the first video. I read all your comments and I think there are some great points there, I just think these two are the biggest ones that stood out to me and I really want to call these out for everyone. First, I promised we'd talk about Romana 2. I mentioned before that she got picked three times as a secondary option, but never as a first. At Tetris 654 commented with the possibility of the 6th and the 12th Doctors having her as the clear winner. These two I hadn't even considered having Romana 2 as the companion, but I think what I didn't realize is that Romana 2 could be making token copies of copied permanents other than these artifact tokens that the decks were so good at making. And so I didn't make the connection that Romana 2 could be copying permanent spells that were also copied and made into tokens. And so I think I have to agree with Romana 2 being a great option for these two commanders. And I think I'll also walk back on my previous recommendations for these two doctors and say Romana 2 is the best. With both of these commanders, I was left feeling uncertain that the 
companion that I chose was the most universally applicable companion, and Romana 2 has great synergies with both that I think beat out the competition and can be applied to a great many situations. My second call out is about the War Doctor. At William Riven chimed in and pointed out that each card that you exile triggers the ability, which means that Ryan's attack trigger will trigger the War Doctor every time you exile a card from the top, not just once. And that is a synergy I completely missed in my video. You can also see this with the Day of the Doctor Saga card. K9 was great for the attack synergy, but I think Ryan just makes this deck into a powerhouse that's really hard to stop, and it's more universally applicable, so I'd recommend Ryan as the companion for the War Doctor. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed these two videos. I'm looking forward to potentially brewing up the 14th Doctor Typal deck and seeing if there truly is a good option for Doctor Typal decks, because this is our only option, as I said, and I hope it works. If you liked this video, let me know in the comments what kind of video you'd like to see in the future. I'm hoping to make a whole lot more now that I'm back into the swing of things. See you next time.